Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a very, very cool spot indeed. Just beautiful. We can't see too far, but what, from what we can see in the distance with the beautiful blue skies, the hills, the trees, everything, this place is absolutely wonderful. But it does beg the question, where in the world are we? And I think I'm going to go with Japan on this one. Where in Japan does it look like this is a good question. I don't quite know the answer to that. Like, it, does it look like that around here, around this area? Maybe it does. Maybe a smaller island or something like that. No, let's go. Let's go somewhere like around here. Sure. Let's make the guess. And the answer was it was Japan. But actually, it looks like that in Japan around here. Ah, okay. I had absolutely no idea where to go. I was just thinking Japan 2463. Hopefully, some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. A very interesting spot. Why is it so cool? It is like a protected basin of, of water. We got the big ocean over here or maybe some kind of big lake. But you can see there's this like big rugged cliff face going right over here. And at the top, a lot of greenery. Grass is growing. You can be walking along, you know, not paying attention. Maybe you're looking at your phone. Then you fall deep into the water. God, that would suck, but at least it looks like it's... Oh, God, look at this. We're on a boat. I don't know what I expected. You know, it makes a lot of sense that we're on a boat, but there you go. Wow. Pretty crazy. But I guess the good thing is if you fall in the water, then in that case, you don't need to worry too much about hitting, you know, solid ground, falling in the water. What a splash. It might be really hard to get out of here, though. God, you have to swim around. Oh, jeez. Might be really difficult. Anyways, this is today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than our good friend, Betalon. That is right, Betalon. Thank you so much for sending this one in. This challenge has a very, very cool theme. It is biggest cities in the Southern Hemisphere. Biggest cities in the Southern Hemisphere. So that is going to be pretty tricky to guess. I've got a few ideas, but... All right, biggest cities in the Southern Hemisphere. I don't know if I can name them right off the bat, but uh, we're gonna try. I don't know if there are any any kind of orders, any kind of order, but it's the top five biggest cities in the Southern Hemisphere. At least as far as I know, it's the top five. Because uh, there's you know five of them. So thank you so much, Betalon, for this one. If you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the uh, com uh, description below to find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one, so you can play along yourself. So, let's get right to it. Boom! Alright. What do we have here? Well, okay. Biggest cities in the Southern Hemisphere. Number one has probably got to be Jakarta, I would believe. So, we got Jakarta is definitely on the list. Then... Nothing else. Uh, Lagos, Nigeria doesn't make the cut because it's in the not. It's not in there. Um, Johannesburg definitely, if you count Pretoria in there. But I think that one's going to be on there as well. Be surprised if we won't be visiting. I don't know Rio or Sao Paulo. Which one has more people? Probably Rio. And uh, probably Buenos Aires, maybe. I don't know. It's it's a hard one to tell. Other than Jakarta, I'm almost all out. I'm almost all out of guesses. Yeah, J yeah, Jakarta. I mean, shoot, maybe even like Surabaya would actually have that and more people. I mean, uh, Indonesia is a very, very populous country. Uh, I definitely think Johannesburg is going to be on there as well. But okay, so we are starting off, and I believe this is Jakarta. Just taking a look at it. But maybe it's not. Yeah, it is. Or at least I would be very surprised. Grand Indonesia Shopping Town. Big, big ol' Oh, God. All right, come on. Give us there. Okay, so we got a big, big roundabout. We got a Hyatt. 
This Hyatt is not that impressive. It's not that tall. You would think there, I mean, there's a lot of buildings just that are around it that look a little bit taller. It's probably built maybe uh, quite a few years ago at this point. There's a Mandarin Oriental there. We've actually seen this area before. This is definitely Jakarta. Uh, let's go right to it. So Jakarta and it is, is it this one over here? Uh, Mandarin Oriental, it is this one, Grand Hyatt, so we started off, like, right there. And the answer was, indeed, that was it, but we were actually, we started off, oh, we started off here. Okay, I didn't realize that, but 64, 62. Okay, so now we are in a different place. Okay, taxi service. I believe we are in Brazil. And... I would say that Rio or I, I, are we in Brazil? Yeah, I'm fairly certain we are in Brazil, but we should definitely make sure before we just make that wild a guess. Or Sao Paulo or one of the two. I think Rio is the biggest city, if I had to guess. I mean, this looks this looks pretty nice. Oh, Sao Paulo. All right. As it turns out, we are indeed in Sao Paulo. Thankfully, finally, we found a city bus that can actually tell us where we are. You know, I always look at the buses to try and see if they can actually tell me what city we're in. And unfortunately, buses, oftentimes, they never do. They just have advertisements on it. They don't actually tell us what city we're in. Thankfully, Sao Paulo, one of the cities that actually does show us where we are. Uh, on the buses, and I am very thankful for that. Oh, we ended up back where we were before. Let's go down this way, see what we can see. It's a beautiful city. It is, it is really nice. It's big. Wow, big park over here. Very, very cool. Okay, do we have any, any other things that we can see? I don't think we're going to find exactly where we are. So, Sao Paulo is where we are. We are, I don't know, where's the center of it? Center is somewhere around over here. So let's say we're on like this road right there. Let's make the guess and the answer was, yeah, pretty close to that. We were just off of there, 6432. Now this is, this is Buenos Aires, right? That's what this city is just by looking at it. That's what my mind is telling me. I might be wrong, but I believe that that is where we are. I, I don't have that much to be able to tell me that, but... Let's see, do the buses, do they tell us where we are? Uh, they don't. They, they really don't tell us. Okay, Southern Hemisphere. Uh, it's, it's, no, it cuts off Colombia and Venezuela. Buenos Aires, this looks like Buenos Aires to me. I don't know if it is. Whoa, a triple. A triple is $22. Um... That's interesting. $22 in what currency? Bienvenidos. That's Spanish, right? So, and this does look, this does look like Buenos Aires to me. So that's possible. Argentinian currency. I, I don't, I don't know what it is. I guess that would, that would make sense. Having it that much is probably around the price of like uh, $2.20 if I had to guess. Two twenty dollars for a triple? I don't know what a triple is. A McTriple, it's like a McDouble, but with three, um, yeah, with three patties and an extra slice of cheese. So it's like a double, it's like a double cheeseburger with one extra meat patty. That seems to make sense. So triple is twenty-two, two dollars and twenty cents. That's actually pretty reasonable for what it is. If it was two twenty, that seems to make sense. So yeah, we are in. Nothing really tells me about. Dot a n no okay I thought that was a that was a URL. Well, I'm fairly certain to be really surprised if we were anywhere but Buenos Aires. So I'm going to guess it, and that is going to be that. Really nice city though. I like uh, I like the amount of trees that there are and the and the actual like architecture of the buildings. It, it looks it looks really nice. Argentina is a really nice country. All right, let's make the guess and the answer was yes that was it. 62.54. Now, this one might be a bit trickier because I have... Oh, wow. This is a nice city, too. Yeah, I like this city a lot. Okay, what city is this? 
Uh, I believe this is back in Brazil. And this one could be Rio. I I don't know. Real Auto Bus. A real Auto on Bus. If I had to guess, I would say that this is... Yeah, okay, so we are in Brazil. So Rio seems to make sense here. Yeah, Rio, Rio would make sense uh, on this one. So that's uh, is what I think we're going to, as what I think we're going to guess, is we are going to guess Rio. And I believe that that is going to be correct. Again, another, another beautiful city. From Just from what we've seen, it does look nicer than Sao Paulo. But, you know, we... There's no way of knowing that. It's just, uh, it's just the, you know, these certain pictures that we've seen right now. But uh, I like the look of this. So I don't think this is not going to be Brasilia. I don't know if Brasilia has that many people. I would imagine it would have a lot compared to a lot of cities. But oh yeah, look at that big mountain over there. Yeah, that looks like Rio to me. So let's do that. Where is Rio? It's right here. And we are going to be in this area. Something like uh, something. Right around, right around here. Let's make the guess, and the answer was indeed we were kind of around there. Sixty-four, thirty-two, and finally, honestly, I'd be surprised if we didn't. Oh, hold on, what does this say? Huh? That is not what I was expecting. I was expecting Johannesburg to appear on this list, but by the looks of it, it does not appear on the list. And by the looks of it, we find ourselves in Santiago. Is that where we find ourselves in? Where are we? I don't know. We're in a uh, municipality of Barranco. Barranco. Interesting. I don't really know where that is. But my guess is that we are in, is that we are in Santiago. At least that's what I feel that chances are let's go down there see if we can catch up to the bus maybe that'll tell us mm, it doesn't really doesn't really indicate to us where we would be uh, what is that no that sign doesn't tell us either well let's try and find ourselves a URL because oh look at that there's a casino right there we can win a lot of money we can win uh, s65,000 well, that's pretty good. I mean, everyone wants to win some of that. Repsol. Sol, I don't know. Doesn't really indicate to me anything. Is there, is there like a flag? Anyone? You know, it's a great time to be patriotic right now. All right, what does that say? Dot P-E. Ah, oh, okay. Really? This is, this is Lima, Peru? I didn't really think Lima was this uh, was 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 populous enough to be on the list, but I guess it makes sense, kind of. All right, Lima, Peru. Wow, that is one I wouldn't have guessed, and I really would have thought Johannesburg would be on the list. Interesting. Maybe it's not the top five. Maybe it's just five very populated cities in uh, South America. Uh, not South America. Southern Hemisphere. So let's make the guess, and the answer was, there you go, 5887, or maybe I'm wrong, and well, it really depends, because cities is a really confusing term. City proper can be very different in terms of population than at least the sort of, what is it, the municipal area, or whatever it's called, so the, the area of population that lives around the city where is the city proper because some cities have really big borders in terms of like how big the city are you know they've like they've you know taken in all of the surrounding areas and it's still the city proper like the city of ottawa is actually you know rather rather a large city in terms of its in terms of its size it's like it's like all it's like actually even way bigger than that it's like uh i think it's like this entire area right here this yeah it's, it's like it's like pretty much this size uh it's huge it's a huge huge area so it's uh yeah it's a really really big area 
but again, it doesn't have that much population. But if you do that onto like a city and somewhere else, that could take up like a huge amount of space. So it really depends what you mean. City proper, because city proper in a city like Ottawa is really big. Uh, also, there's like, it really depends what you, what you talk about because like there is like a city in Quebec, it's like a tiny little town or something. And it's like, it's like a good like, sixth of the entire pro it's like it's so big it's like it's a huge gigantic area like literally almost like this big that's pretty much just like oh this is that's the city proper but not really not in any kind of practical terms it's not but in i guess technically maybe it is 5887 that's what i got on that one and that concludes this round maybe these are the most populous cities let's find out a jakarta at least i thought that was number one and I think it is Sao Paulo. I don't know if that's number two. That's the, this is the part where I start being unsure. Buenos Aires, then Rio de Janeiro, and finally Lima, Peru. Are those the top five? If they are, I'm going to say I'm a bit surprised. I really would have thought Johannesburg would have been on the list. But other than that, I do not know. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.